Welcome. This beautiful Sunday. We're going to dedicate our contribution today to the miracle and power, freedom and hope of migration. And our inspiration is bird flight. We fit together like two birds of a feather. Perfect combination now, it couldn't be better. If you just say the word, I'll leave my lonely world. Come fly with me, your lady bird. Better than just like the robin is, the harbinger of spring. Your lady bird. Day, 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 Don't ever 
say goodbye I hate to leave the sky Come fly with me, your lady bird Good evening and welcome to St. Peter's. My name is Fabian Arias and I am one of the pastors here at St. Peter's Church. If this is your first time visiting us, welcome. We are glad that you are here and if you have been with us before, welcome back. We also welcome those joining us online this evening. For those of you who might not be familiar with the Vesper service, it is a time of reflection and contemplation at the end of the day. The word Vespers comes from the Latin word Vespere, meaning evening star. So this time is time to reflect on our day together. At St. Peter's, we have the unique tradition of Jazz Vesper, which has been a long-standing tradition here since 1965. And we hope it will continue long into the future. The servant mixes prayer and jazz for a beautiful contemplative time in community. At the beginning, of each Vesper service, we always light a candle to remind us that God, light of hope and peace, shines here with us. At each just Vesper, we also receive the Vesper Psalm 141. It is used in various Vesper service because of the imagery within it. The psalmist reflect on the arrival of evening and pray to God. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands and the evening sacrifice. O oh Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Say the word before my mouth, O oh Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with endure, with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, in you I turn refuge. Strip me not of my life. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up on my hands and the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repent prayer ascend before you, O God, 
and let your loving kindness descend upon us that with purified hearts we may sing your praises with a church on earth and the whole heavenly host and may glory you forever and ever. Amen. Migration is a proud and powerful and primal reality. We all came from migrating peoples to wind up here. And uh, so we're going to sing, I'm going to sing a song from, that came from uh, the time of Inquisition in Spain. It's a Sephardic melody. But the lyrics, which are very close to the original, were original lyrics written in the 60s by Richard Farina and performed by Joan Baez's sister and her husband Richard. And it's very beautiful and there's definitely some uh, activism to be suggested in the lyrics. But I want to dedicate this to a brave migrant who escaped captivity for one year and lived freely in New York and had his joy of uh, meeting New Yorkers and eating what he wanted when he could hunt it. So this is dedicated to Flacco the Owl.
the swallows as they flown and will the breezes blow the petals from your hand and will some loving ease your pain and will the silent strike confusion from your heart and will the swallows come again Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said this all quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get thee behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their lives? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. So, I would love you all to join in, anytime, really. But some of you may know this song. I know I've got some of my singers from my wonderful Bliss singing class here today. But it's blissful to sing. And it gives us, it releases our endorphins when we hear you, as we hope we are releasing your endorphins when you join with us. To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn. Every 
In this gospel that we just read, Jesus reveals to us the true meaning of disciple and the condition to follow him. In this passage, Jesus speaks clearly about his one passion, death and resurrection, and also calls each of us to follow him on this path of sacrifice and surrender. First, Jesus shows us that the path of disciples is not easy. He predicts his one death and resurrection, but he also warns us that those who follow, follow him must be willing to renounce themselves, take up this, his cross, and follow him. The cross that Jesus called us to carry is not simply a symbol of his suffering, but also a reminder of our own burden. It means facing the difficulties, trials, and persecution that we will inevitably encounter as followers of Christ. Whatever, it also represents the hope and redemption we find in his sacrifice. We must remember that our identity and our hope are in Christ alone, and no, not in the option and opinion of others. Finally, Jesus assures us that those who lose their lives from 
the sake of him and the gospel will truly find them. This means embracing the will of God in this act of total surrender with find a full and eternal life in communion with our Savior. Friend, friends, on this second Sunday of Lent, this passage challenges us to examine our own life and make a commitment to Christ. Ask ourselves if we are willing to give up everything for love of him, to follow him even in the midst of adversity and rejection. May the Holy Spirit strengthen us to live as courageous and faithful disciples, carrying our cross with joy and confidence in the Lord. Amen. Bello amor, tú eres mi misterio.
say that. I was going to say it was Lester Young that brought me here, but that can't be true. It wasn't true. I came here looking for a gig <laughs> in the late 80s, and I met Pastor Gensel and uh, Pastor John Garcia Gensel, and he told me, yeah, you can come sing here. He said, but he liked to get people involved. Make sure you show up next Sunday. Well, what's going on? I said, it's the Lester Young tribute. They've been paying tribute to the great Lester Young for 30 years right here. Um, well, actually, in a different church that moved here. Um, and this was, became their permanent home, the jazz ministry. And I couldn't believe it because I'm a big Lester Young fan. I heard his soulful sound above all other tenor saxophone players. It just stood out to me. And uh, I'm not alone. Many, many people agree. So I got into writing lyrics to some of his tunes and music. And here's one of them. And John and I, this year's Kisses, are actually working on a string project, putting strings to some of Lester's music with my lyrics because he always wanted to record with strings. Toward the end of his life, he said, Lady Bird got to record with strings. Lady Tate got to record with strings. So Prez, we're gonna send this labor of love, when it's finished, out to you. So right now, this year's kisses. <laughs> Don't know 
Good evening, everyone. Sorry about that. My name is James Boudreau. I'm the director of programming here at St. Peter's Church. And I just want to make a couple of quick announcements. Um, first of all, Eve has done a wonderful job of um, introducing the band we've been listening to tonight, um, except for herself. So please help me welcome band leader Eve Zani. If this is your first time joining us here at St. Peter's, um, Welcome, thank you for coming. Um, you might uh, consider signing our guest book in the back. We um, just leave your name, where you're from. We have been having guests from all over the world uh, in the past year or so, and it's a delight for the staff and pastors to see uh, where you're visiting from. Um, and if you're able to support St. Peter's Church, uh, like uh, Pastor Aria said, earlier, we've been doing Jazz Vespers since 1965, and we do plan to do it long into the future, and, uh, but we can't do it without support, and we do need um, support to keep our programming going. So if you're able to contribute to the church financially, you can do that with the basket in the back or uh, online. There's a code in the bulletin, or you can go to stpeters.org um, give. 
and any gift you could make would be is uh, warmly appreciated. So next week we have the Kaylee O'Doherty uh, trio, which is a wonderful uh, trio, and uh, I hope you'll be able to come back and join us. We do this every Sunday at five, and you can always join us um, online if you're not here in the city in person. So we have one more piece of music this evening, and uh, then a blessing from Pastor Arias, and I wish you a good night. Thank you. So this last song um, is a welcome to happiness after the work struggles or life struggles that we all have. And uh, there's nothing better than samba to drive out our blues.
Nothing like a mellow cello. Barry Kornhauser. to James Boudreaux for the wonderful job he's doing in bringing jazz forward for so many years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much for beautiful music with us. Thank you for being with us this evening. Wherever you are headed next, I wish you safe travel. Please receive this blessing. Life is short, and we have not much time to gladden the heart of those who make the journey with us. So be swift to love, and make haste to be kind. And the blessing of God who made us, who love us, and who travel with us be with you this day and forever. May you go in peace. Amen.